All right, since it's cold today, I'm going to do this in the garage. Uh, Mountain Vista got their TK shift linkage. Uh, works great. Talk to them, Brandon up there. Uh, these guys are super awesome, super informative. Uh, they have the metal battery tray, right? So this is a plastic tray that comes in the XJs. They get old, they get brittle. I mean, this is a 98, so it's 20 some years old, right? So it gets old, gets brittle, especially when you off-road, it breaks, breaks free. You can actually ground your battery out on the hood of your vehicle. A lot of other crap can go wrong. So sent me the battery tray. I'm gonna take it apart put the new one in, check it for fitment, and follow up and let them know how I like it. But uh, if it's anything like the, the T-case linkage, I'm sure it's gonna be amazing. All right, so again, um, this is the metal battery tray. Um, extremely nice welds. Uh, once they fabricate this in their shop, they actually send it out and get it powder coated for longevity. Plus it just looks a lot, a lot better. Uh, then here's the bracket that's gonna go on top to hold it into the tray and they send you the bolts for it. So I'm gonna get this hood opened up and start by removing the battery. So take the battery off before you do anything else. All right, once you got your batteries disconnected, um, you wanna take off these bolts here and over here, 13 millimeter, and then this will come off. Once your battery's done, then you can pull your battery straight out. All right, so battery's out. You're gonna have three bolts. I don't know if you can see I'm done in there. Uh, see if it'll zoom in that you need to take out uh, i'm going to verify but i believe they're 13 millimeter or you know half inch and then the the new tray will sit in here but you can see it's cracked um it's seen better days i'll show you a little bit close up when i get it out all right i stand corrected um those are actually 15 millimeter bolts um having the typical issue which is expected these tend to be rusted on there really well so spraying a bunch of cleaner on there. Gonna let them sit for a little bit uh, before I try to get those out. So um, I'm hoping I don't have to re-tap and drill. But um, those three bolts come out and then we'll put the new tray in. But again, they're 15 millimeter. All right, just like I was saying, I got, let's see if I can see it. One to break free, the other two broke off. So um, I'll figure that process out here in a second. But once you get those three out, you take the tray out, make sure over here on your firewall, you disconnect the temperature sensor uh, that goes under your battery. And then that'll come out with your battery tray. And you simply just slide it out of the hole and then we'll feed it into the new battery tray uh, because it does have an opening already for it. But you can see this, this guy's had uh, better days so we're going to work on getting the new one sit in there and then figure out what I got to do as far as um, anchoring it down. Probably what I'll do is just probably re-drill through the plate and then just put, you know, a nut and bolt on the bottom of it. But we'll get to that point in a minute. All right, on this tray, uh, it does fit in there and it is a little bit wider. Um, that way it will accommodate, you know, an OEM battery or one of your deep cell uh, lithium batteries, optimal, extreme, etc. Um, however, on my XJ, I have a coolant line that was rubbing on the side of this, which is on the radiator side. So basically what I did was I just took an angle grinder and notched this little piece out. Um, doesn't really compromise any of the integrity. Uh, it's not going to not gonna hinder anything on it. And your XJ may not have that line, um, but I'll show you what I'm talking about when I put it in there. Um, but beyond that, we're going to get it installed and show you what it looks like. All right, so I'm going to see if you can see this. Um, so this is the front of the Jeep. This coolant line right here, uh, the end of the box was rubbing on it right here. Uh, it clears this one fine, but because it's wider, it rubs right here. So that's where I notched it. Uh, and again, that's that's going up to the front. Um, you're actually, I may not have that issue, but uh, that's what I did on mine. Simple fix, piece of cake. All right, for demonstration purposes, I'm going to show you this. So once your battery tray is installed right it puts battery on and then this will go across the top of the battery okay on the front side of the vehicle closest to the radiator this bolt will go through the top and screw into here however on the um facing the rear of the car side 
it has a groove on the bottom for the nut to slide in and the head will sit in those grooves. So what you'll actually have is this one will be going down, this one will be coming up. You'll have the rod go down through this one and up through this one. Now what you will have to do, um, in my case was, I had to go out and buy a nut um, that would fit onto the supplied bolts. Um, my old bolts were not the same thread, they wouldn't fit, but again, simple. All right, so as you can see the trays in here, what I was talking about is right here. Um, I have that coolant line that comes out. So I've got it set up to where it doesn't rub. It's not gonna nick or anything like that. So before you bolt this thing down, uh, make sure you put your temperature unit back in. You're gonna feed it through the hoe, uh, clamp it into the plate, and then plug it up. I suggest doing that prior to, to anchoring down this plate. All right, so got this back in the sensor got it plugged in since this one is going to go up you also have to insert this this rod this bolt before you put this down again i had to drill out two of mine two of mine broke off so i'm just going to put a nut uh, and lock washer on there uh, with a bolt and i'm going to reuse this first stud so let me bolt that down all right once you get it done get it in i mean it's not going anywhere so basically we'll sit my battery in uh, put the hold down clamp on top and then finish bolting it up all right so back in this thing isn't going anywhere so definitely like it it actually gives me a little bit more clearance between my radiator hose and my battery than what i originally had um definitely check them out again uh mountain vista fabrication brandon and his guys are awesome so uh two for two on quality of parts that i've used from them so highly recommended